I do have a very special guest right here on the line live with me, uh, Miss Tiffany Fallon. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm doing pretty well, pretty well. Super excited to uh, to talk to you. I know we don't have a ton of time, um, but usually when we have a guest on, we kind of like to get to know, like, uh, you know, kind of how it all got started. I know, uh, I guess, if you don't mind, can we go back to, like, I guess, you you know, we're here now, we're going to promote this new movie, but you kind of started out as, as a flight attendant, um, which I guess led into a cheerleader and kind of started your career. Like, how did it all get started for you back then, like? I mean, it was, it's been crazy, kind of, I look over, you know, my resume, and it's kind of all over the place, and, um, but because of that, I've been able to meet a lot of cool people and be a part of a lot of special projects, but yeah, I uh, graduated from Florida State and moved to Atlanta to, would get kind of bored just sitting around waiting for my next assignment, and so I said, well, you know, maybe I can make some friends and try out for the Atlanta Falcons NFL team and uh, and the same with doing Miss Georgia USA and those things worked out pretty good for me. I ended up going to the Super Bowl that year with the Falcons and awesome. um, went to Miss USA and so this, I just kind of caught the bug and I said, well, certainly I can you know use this to my advantage and started doing commercials and TV in Atlanta a, a billion years ago and. Yeah. Um, and just, I just never turned down an opportunity. Um, you know, I'd be selective, but it just seemed silly to put yourself in a box. Um, so I would, I'd find myself in on uh, certain sets or doing certain things that I would just blow my mind. But ended up um, at Playboy, and never thought I'd be doing that either, especially at thirty. And ended up being of the year from awesome. the world and, and then front of Trump for for Celebrity Apprentice and after that just kind of settled down had a family with uh, a husband who's in the music business and and then got started back again after a while and uh, returned to Atlanta and started uh, doing some special projects and uh, a little bit of movies that's awesome yeah congratulations I mean yeah. on all that I mean that's that's a that's a lot of. Uh... I know it's not it's not a conventional route, but um, for me, it's it's probably a normal route. Um, I know my parents are always like, "You're doing what?" But um, for me, I think it just made me a better performer and a and a better parent and a better friend and a better spouse. Being involved and in, in meeting all of these people and being on all these different sets. For sure, absolutely. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's you've already accomplished so much, but then now. I was going to kind of mention, like, since 2018, I guess, is that kind of when you started getting back into the industry? Because it seems like now we're starting to see you in a lot more yeah. acting roles. Cer- certainly, yeah, because back, um, let's see, 20, 20 plus years ago, I was in Atlanta, and, and the industry wasn't as strong back then. I mean, it was just regional commercials and um, some work on TBS or Turner. And returning now to Atlanta, um, it's it's huge now. I mean, t- with Tyler Perry Studios there and all the movies being filmed there, it's uh, it's such a blessing to that community. And it's it's been really cool for me to resurface um, now as a different person and, and being a different market. I think um, you know I'm not just a 20 year old something trying to play a 20 year old or um, sexy so and so. I'm I have a little more right now so that's exciting and i can draw from those experiences oh absolutely i could see that yeah i could i did was that ever um you know i guess you've always heard like the stereotype you know you were playing of the year obviously that's a huge success in itself but then trying to go into acting and things like that a lot of times you will get typecast or you're just there to be sure. the hot girl was that like an issue you kind of had yeah. like back then I mean, back then we were doing, I was trying to get involved more in the uh, TV side of things and the hosting side of things. And, um, yeah, I mean, I would I would get those type of auditions. I, I mean, you still do. I, I don't take offense to that. I'd like to be a hot girl for the rest of my life. Right, please, nothing wrong with that. Please, <laughs> cast me as a hot girl. I, I will never take offense to that, you know. I just as many things as possible. But, um, I mean, yeah, I guess, you know, the roles 
probably get a little more catered to who you are at your age. They're a little slimmer. Um, but I, I just really love to work. And I want to work with great people and cool people and people that are creative and, and, and talented. And um, I'm just willing to work to, you know, be around those types of people in those environments. And I really don't get caught up in, like, oh, I need to play this type of person or that type of character. I mean, I've never done a horror film before, but hearing about Jason, the director, and his wife, and how they were a and how they keep such a cool family environment around such a scary project, um, I was, like, sign me up. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. I think they're like a, I love that they're like a, kind of like a up and coming power couple in movies. Like they're doing all this stuff together. And exactly. Exactly. And I love a couple that can work together and be around each other all day long. Cause I know personally, I would literally like lose my mind being around my husband for that long. So kudos to them. We can't, we can't expect you to, uh, to go out on tour with Rascal Flats anytime soon then. <laughs> oh, hell no. Hell no. I mean, I think that's the beauty of our marriage. And, you know, for a few days or a week or two weeks at a time, and then they come back and we kind of miss them. And I think that's what's kept us all married for so long. For sure. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, obviously we're talking about, you got the new movie, Along Came the Devil 2, uh, it actually comes out in select theaters and video on demand, uh, October 11th, you played Karen, yeah. you said it was your first, uh, first time doing any sort of like horror role, I mean, what, how was that experience yeah. like, on set different for you? Well, I was really, um, anxious and a little nervous going into the project because since I've never been on a close, uh, even close to that type of subject um it was it was a little nerve-wracking but um i was able to watch the first one and kind of get the pacing and, and see what they were all about and once i met everyone on set the first day i just fell in love with them and i, and I saw how how structured the set was and how talented the people and the special effects people were and i was taking pictures all over the place because i was like i don't know when i'll ever get a chance to do this again this is Really, such a gift. Absolutely, yeah. I'm sure it was, especially yeah, with the with all the stuff going on, the special effects and stuff. I bet it was really cool, like to see the, you know, the scary makeup and like people tied to trees Definitely. and all that stuff. Yeah, I know it was just, and I came in halfway through the project. Um, um, Jason and I were due to scheduling, and and I was just really nervous about you know how the out, other actors would be and. and Honestly, they were, it was just like jumping into a family reunion. Uh, awesome. Mark is exceptional, talented, um, who plays my husband and the lead in this. And uh, Laura, Laura was, you know, obviously she has a great resume. Um, but it, it was, it was like being at a family dinner table. And that was our first, that was my first day on set. That's awesome. That's good to hear. Yeah, it's a, it's a good cast. I mean, like you mentioned, Laura and Mark and then the, Bruce Davidson, which is, you know, huge in the acting community as well. Um, huge. And such a sweetheart, such a giving, generous spirit, not only with other actors, but just to the crew and, you know, just during breaks. I mean, you can't ask for anything better than that. For sure. Yeah, and if you guys, if anybody out there listening, if you guys are into horror movies or any, like, exorcism-ish movies, make sure you guys go check it out. And don't do what I did. Go watch yeah. the first one first. Um, cause I was, <laughs> I, I watched the second one before I saw the first one. I was a little lost. Um, you're a little lost. I was a little lost. I'm going to wait till Friday to see it. I didn't want to see anything before the premiere. So I'm really excited myself. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. It's definitely, definitely go check it out. It's a well-made movie. It looks great. The acting's fantastic. Like we said, there's a load of, uh, Great, talented actors in there, as well as you get to see Miss Tiffany Fallon in her first horror movie, and hopefully there you go. more to come. I mean, is there now that you're kind of back? You re have the do you have the acting bug again? Are you back in the back in the swing of things? Can we expect to see your face? You know, oh, a lot yeah, more out there. Sure. I'd love to be the I'd love to be the Susan Lucci of horror films. There you go. Yeah, yeah, that's that's super awesome. 
Well, hopefully we see you out there more. <laughs> Obviously you've had a, you know, a huge thing so far. Um, so I did, a lot of people, they knew we were going to talk to you, so they, obviously you mentioned it earlier when you were on Celebrity Apprentice, I'm sure you get it a lot now. You were, I guess you were the first person to get fired by uh, by the president. Thank uh, God. <laughs> you, know, you know, it was really good that I was, um, I was, uh, I'm not the reality show type person, I, I feel like that's a really, you know, strong niche, either you have or you don't, I love to watch it. Um, I think there's a real science to it if you're actually trying to live on a reality show for longer than one episode. For me, I was was pregnant with my first, and I was ready to go. Um, But it was a very unique experience. It was a somewhat toxic experience. But... um, there's not many of us, I guess, that can say we're fired by the president now. Right. Or maybe there are. There's a lot of people that can say we're fired by the president. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot <laughs> now, yeah. <laughs> there's a large group of us. There's but yeah. a community. Yeah. <laughs> like, I guess, I guess how, uh, I guess at the moment it was probably a strange experience, but now looking at, you know, where the country has gone and who, you know, you're, the guy who fired you on reality TV, like, how surreal is that to think, like, Holy, like, could you even imagine such a... That's, <laughs> I don't even yeah, know. you know, that's the word I was going to use. I was, it's really surreal, you know. Um, it's just very surreal, I know, during the uh, campaign and, and between her and I would have these random calls, and it would, you know, the answer, and I would be taking my kids to school, and I'd be like, hey, I'm so-and-so from Boston, blah, 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 newspaper. I'd like to ask you, you know, about Trump, and I was like, I... Ah, I don't care. You know, I just want to take my kids to school. I was like, this is so unique. But um, again, one of those things on my resume. It's so crazy. And, you know, I don't like to say that a person for doing. I wouldn't ever do it again. But, um, you know, I met some cool people. Dean Simmons, um, you know, Jenny Finch, Carol All. I mean, who, Tina Montez. I mean, there are some great guys up on there. No, that's yeah. I'm sure it was an amazing experience. That's awesome. It's just crazy how it how it all worked out. You know, who'd imagine you'd still be talking about it today? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, well, yeah. Hopefully, everybody goes and checks out the movie. Uh, Along came the devil, part two. Me too. Um, I do have one more question. We we ask all of our guests the same thing generally, um, but we're getting a lot more actors, actors and actresses now. So I guess you could choose. Normally, we ask you. I don't know if you're big into music. Um, but we essentially yeah. would ask if you have uh, three records in your life that you just couldn't live without that either inspired you either as, you know, as a person, professionally, or just something in your family or personal. Just three records that oh, you yeah. had to choose. Three that records? Just, yeah, that you could never just live without. Okay, well, I have to have the Eagles' greatest hits. Perfect. And um, I'm pro- this is probably not your market, but, like, my first record was Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> That's awesome. Like, Love a Rain... Love a Rainy Night. That's that awesome. Like my first. I got to get back to my first Alvin and the Chipmunks. It was like back in the 70s. <laughs> That's awesome. And um, <laughs> um, probably, um, you know, I'm such a like an 80s, 90s kind of girl, but probably in excess. There you go. Um, Need You Tonight. Yeah. That's a good deal. Yeah. That's my three. You can always hear that You're one. probably not going to have the same three. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. You probably won't have the same three ever. That's good. That, that means you're original, and you're, and you're, you know, you you found your yeah. own way here, and then you found your own way musically. And you're, you're you're keeping true to yourself. Exactly. But that's all. I've been in the Chipmunks. I would yeah. never expected that from anyone, to be honest. So that's that's awesome. Well, that's that was my first one, so I had to give props <laughs> to my first album that's incredible. ever. That's awesome. That's perfect for us because there's actually three of us on this show, and we recently did a parody shirt with the album oh, Chipmunks bodies. <laughs> So that's awesome. There you go, Simon Alvin Theodore. That's right. <laughs> that's perfect. I'm going to go listen to that now. Uh, so everybody else, make yeah, sure you go check, check out, out. Uh, Long Came the Devil 2, <laughs> Video On Demand, and Select Theaters this Friday, October 11th. Um, are you a big, do you like people to follow you on social media? You want to tell everybody where they can find you, sure. keep in touch, let you know what, let, you know, so they know what's going on? I mean, I'm kind of hit or miss, but I'm usually on Instagram at Tiff Allen. And uh, every once in a while, I'm on Twitter, if I if I get the energy. 
<laughs> you gotta, you know, with your former relationships with presidents, you have to stay clear away from Twitter. I guess that could be pretty frightening. Yeah, I just, I just, I just need a break. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Well, that's all. Well, I guess it's good to see you back into the uh, into the acting room. Hopefully, Thank we get you. to see a lot more from you. Um, the movie's good. Yeah. You did great as Karen. It was, it was. You know, I wasn't super I familiar with you that. before then, but it's awesome. To, we get to meet you as an actress and not as a, a beautiful model or playmate. So, But either yeah. way, you're still yeah, the same well, person. I appreciate that. <laughs> so, I am. That's right. Um, my kids probably wouldn't think so, but uh, I think so. Yeah. And I appreciate your time. Well, absolutely. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Uh, welcome to the Replicon Radio family. And, uh Hopefully, you know, in the future you, you got some more stuff coming out. We can we can talk and we'll let everybody know about it. Yeah. Awesome. We'll come back and visit. Absolutely. Well, okay, thank you. bye. All right, have a good day. Bye.